Ladies and gentlemen, you may be aware that we are home to the oldest living language still in use. In addition, this is also amongst the oldest continuing civilizations in the entire world. Our next event depicts the genesis, the evolution of one of the oldest civilizations. This act, this stunning act, has been choreographed by Shamak Davar and performed by his dance company. And the person who has lent his voice to this act is none other than our very own Ulaga Nayagan Kamal Hasanavargal. Kamal sir, Odiya Kuralil, Tamil Muri, Tamil Kalacharam, Tamil Nodiya Pirmeye, Kanboma. கல் தோன்றி மண் தோன்றா காலத்தே வாழோடு முன் தோன்றி மூத்த கொடி எனக்குரிய <laughs> the greatest of them all the tamar soils story my tamar man welcome i am everywhere i was there when the first block of wood was carved the first king was crowned the first ship set to sea and i'm there when all the glory now lies beneath the sand the value of what we unearth a broken pot a dirty coin a wooden toy or a rusted iron tool from 4000 years ago is as priceless and timeless as the history it comes from the tamar land that it comes from This history begins at the beginning of time itself. Our culture took its first steps along with the early man. The village of Adirambakkam holds stone tools as old as 1.5 million to 385,000 years. of age mailadum pare unearthed tools and rock art from 4200 years ago we were witnesses to the age of iron smelting and wielding its power at a time as old as 2000 bc able to generate our own heat of more than 1500 degrees celsius this was just the beginning then came the time of the leaping tiger the chora empire fish the pandya empire
and the glorious bow and arrow, the emblem of the Cheras. Trinity of Tamil royalty, under whom flags soared high and the land flourished and Tamil rejoiced. The Cheras, the Cholas and the Pandyas. It was a time of true innovation. It was a time of the people. We were industrious, even before it was a word in the West. Dating back to the 6th century BC, we used terracotta pipes for irrigation. Establishing our core livelihood, agriculture and farming. Society began to thrive. Life was rich and livelihood grew under the able administration of the kings. In the first century, the great Karigala Churan built the oldest of dams, Kallani or the stone dam over the river Kaveri. Operational even after 2000 years of its existence. The 10th century Chola creation the Viranarayanapuram Reservoir, built by man, nourishes us with water till date. And as agriculture prospered, trade made its way. We traveled and traded with lands near and far, all the way up to Philippines. Owing to the vision of a great Chola king, Rajendra Choran, we crossed the unforgiving Indian Ocean in the 10th century. He was the first to introduce the concept of an admiral. The INS Rajendra of the Indian Navy is a salute to that man and his marvels. When the sea was still a stranger, and the shores became our friends. We were a civilized society educated in the ways of life and the needs of those around us. In Kiradi, pots and earthen vessels bore names of their owners. A democratic election for the village head held in the 10th century under the rule of Parandagat Choran shows our people as able thinkers that they are. This thought, this community, this Tamar built the culture and society of yesterday and today, and our culture is as vast as the minds that created them, with a contribution to every form of art. Our martial art, Thilambam, the dance of the wooden staff, showcases utmost discipline, showmanship, and grit. <laughs>
bringing with it the surge of energy since the time of Kalitugai. An ancient text comes as port like none other. Yer Tarvudal, or embracing of the bull, famously known as Jadlikatra, a sport of the masses. forms of our people that we know as not to put a color our folk art structures in the modern day the flawless smooth pillars of susindram temple carved from a single stone mamallapuram home of the show temple and the five rathas the museum of indian architecture <laughs> thousand years ago the pandian king began three scholarly institutions called sangams tulgapiyam is one of the oldest books of grammar for a language of today Aindinai spoke of the vast terrain and their stories Kurunji Mullai Marudam Neidal and Palai A 
hand, the Silapadigaram brings to light of progressive practices such as Sakyarbhuta, a dance form where all are seen as equal. icon blazing through a courtroom of injustice, fighting to prove her husband's innocence, bearing the anklet of truth, a truth that the king refuses to see. So let's break the anklet, she says, and spill the queen's pearls. Bang goes the second anklet. The king is shocked to see the scattered rubies. The third and final anklet breaks. The truth engulfs not only the court of the king, but the entire city of Madurai. of life and has nurtured many voices over the years. Tirkural, the treatise for the whole world, holding in it 1,330 verses and 133 chapters about the ways and doings of man, is an ode to poetry itself. Poet's statue, the Tiruvalluvar statue in Kanyakumari, is testament to that. Our national bard, Bharatiyar, sang songs of liberation, and his disciple, Bharatidasan, carried the legacy bringing reform to society. And the Tamil people of today put us on the map with our soaring GDP, pioneering at every touch in healthcare, automobile, and technology. The tradition of art has now evoked our love for cinema, boasting of one of the most inspiring creative industries. Tamil cinema is a benchmark of excellence in entertainment. And our Tamil has grown far beyond this land, this man. We are part of the world residing in 180 countries around us. No story comes without its hardships, shaken by tsunamis, the floods, the earthquakes, and the droughts. Our people face the hardest and the most trying of times. But we rose stronger, our legacy ever growing. And as we witness the magic together, it is no more just my story, 
but ours. This is our world and these are our people.